life of the line, the most dramatic change being the introduction of radio signaling, foreshadowing the end of traditional signal operations, and sadly, as a result, the de-staffing of historic West Highland stations. At Crean Larrick, the track divides, with the Oban Line, a once separate company, veering off to the coast, while the original West Highland Line strikes north to Rannoch Moor. Computers will now control the movements of trains. Well, radio signaling is all done by a microprocessor in, in two control sections, one down in Craig and Doran and one in Fort William. And um, the radio signaling as such will mean that there will be no need for signalmen because it will all be done by radio in the cab. There will be a small radio in the cab of the engine. The driver will have communication with each of the control sections. And these will be Branagh Station and Bridge of Orkey Station and Tullock Station will be crossing places where trains can cross just as they're crossing just now. And if there's anything unforeseen happens on the line or on the sections, the driver can communicate with the control point. So there is no need for any signalman at all. Signal signals will all be done. There will be no signal to be away. I, I went to Glasgow Queen Street before I came up here. I was staying in a sort of rough environment. And, uh, my daughter was only about six at the time, and uh, she actually got mugged going to school one morning. So I was there and then that sort of put the final, you know, the finishing touches to it, like I said, right, I'm off. I was always in the area, you know, holidays and weekends and what have you, like, uh, you can leave your door open all night and all that, and you can go to sleep with not worrying about anybody coming near your house or that. This station's been here from the late 1890s. Uh, I'd be very sorry to see it going, actually. I don't know how, how it goes with British Rail, whether they're allowed to pull it down, because you've got so many of these uh, preservation people about now. I mean, that clock there in itself, you know, that's a part of the character of the station. You know, that's that's there from the, the station was built, too. They're just doing away with the signalman. I don't really see any prospect for myself, like, uh, uh, I'm not really keen on moving from here. You know, if I can find something else to do me here, then I'll be staying, like, you know. the last 30 years, you know. I've seen the moor in many aspects and weather. The great possibility we can get the four seasons in the one day. But apart from that, for the years of travel, right up to Rannock Station, I know almost every water betwixt here and Glasgow. I've been coming so long up to Rannock Station, it'll be rather a blow to me if they close the Rannock Station. This is a railway within a railway. Its staff are breed apart, lighthouse men of the land. Well, I think myself that the future of the West Highland Line as such, you know, will never be the same again. You will never get the same, you know, esprit de corps as we used to have with the local population. Because, that? because there'll be no staff on the stations, and the staff, won't, you won't have any, you know, there'll be nobody, the only man that'll be, they'll be able to communicate with is the area manager. So there'll be no staff as such on the stations. I mean, everybody knows me around Rannoch and the area, as far as Tunnel Ridge and Pitlochry and Aberfeldy. They all know me here, but they don't know, I mean, very few of them know the area manager. You know, there was only the railway and the fishing. That was all there was in Mali when I was brought up. You either went and joined the railway or you went to the fishing. That was the only two jobs you had. My wife, she is with me here on the railway as a signal woman. My father was on the railway for over 47 years. He was at the building of the Mali branch. And my brother was on the railway for 35 years as a local driver. That headstone up there, it was the Irish navvies when they were building the line here, that hewed that out from the rock from the snow shed, which is two and a half mile up from here. And Jai H. Renton himself was a stockbroker. And the reason his head is, or the stone is there, when they ran, out, they ran out of money, when they were building part of the line, 
and he financed part of the line. Well, I can recall 1982 when our water supply in the area, the whole area, went off. On the 27th of December, it went off the water. We had no water at all. It just froze up. And it didn't come back on again. We had no water until the 15th of March following year.